Hey, the moms are here and we are so glad that you are here. <laughs> if we haven't met, I'm Anna, the host of Mom Talk. And joining me today, we have Michelle, Jacinda, and Judy. Now, if you've ever struggled with feelings of worthlessness, uh, feeling, uh, feelings of failure, worthlessness, um, we want you to know you're gonna be encouraged by today's segment. Uh, so I wanna start with Jacinda because this really has been a big area that you've overcome and have oh. learned a lot. Oh, for sure. Um, you know, I'm a perfectionist. I'm a firstborn. And for any of you moms <laughs> who have a firstborn or you're a firstborn yourself, right. you know what I'm talking about. A firstborn child, when you say, um, jump to that child. They are the ones who say how, how high, high. Yeah. and I can go higher. I can do better. Mm -hmm. I did. I got an A plus. I can do right. better next time. Right. Um, right. And so I really I took that into you when you were born again. You don't just shirk all of that part of yourself. You right. take it with you right. into your faith, and you have to you have to unlearn those old ways and those old habits. And so for me. Um, Ministry has been a big part of our family, and it's just been the area that's shined a mirror on a lot of who I am as a person. Mm -hmm. okay. And so um, we got into our first youth pastorate when we were first married in our early 20s, mm -hmm. and we were working hard for Jesus, just hard, hard, yeah. hard work. And sometimes we would swing and hit it, and sometimes we would miss. Yeah. Um, and mm -hmm. so often, we, we kind of had a point at a youth camp mm -hmm. where you were sitting down, and it's supposed to be for the kids, but you know, God moves in His Amen. own way. Right. Right. And um, we, we both sat down and had this real that we both felt useless for the Lord mm -hmm. um, and kind of had that make or break moment when we realized, you know, if God called us into ministry, uh, which is what motherhood is, it's a form of ministry. Totally. If he calls us into it, then why do we feel like failures? Because his word tells us that we're supposed to be more than conquerors and right. we're supposed to be overcomers. And, and how do we, why do we feel like failures? Why do we feel useless in God's mm. hand? Um, and part of it, for for me at least, was discovering the enemy's scheme. Mm. He works on us in um, in lies, he sure or does. half lies still count as whole lies. Right. Mm -hmm. um, you are worthless. You are worthless aside from God. Um, you are useless unless mm. you're in His hand. Then you are useful, right. Right. Um, and mm. you will fail unless you have His help to right. succeed. And right. um, you know. You buy into that enough, and you, you have to learn to operate through Him. Uh, and right. so, for me, that feeling of failure, especially as a perfectionistic firstborn, mm -hmm. um, was devastating because you you always think that you can you can do it. Right. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah. so, for me, that's that's been a big area where I've really had to feel like mm -hmm. you know like that God could come through for me because I couldn't right. come through for yeah. myself. Right. Right. Yeah. But you can't do it all. I think that's the part that we have to focus on when we're moms. Like we still need to have our usefulness in the whole picture of what he's created us to do. But if we have too much of our foot in one camp versus the other one's going to suffer mm -hmm. and, and like there's a season, there's a time for every purpose under heaven. So right. where you are right now is where God wants you so that you can fulfill all the aspects he's done for you, but you have to trust him. Like you said, you right. have to realize that he created this good work in you. He will complete it. Don't give up. Don't over, because ah, then you will, your usefulness will feel like it's diminishing mm -hmm. and you won't be able to fully give everything to, for the kingdom. You'll yeah. be running on fumes instead of fueled up by God. Yeah. Right. But then there's also value in, in, in not doing too much. Because exactly. for me, being a single mom, I struggle with being both mom and dad. So right. I try to do so much for my kids, to be so much for them, yeah. that for me, Exodus 14, 14 says, the Lord will fight for you. You mm -hmm. need only to be still. Right. So I, I had verse. to learn <laughs> that I had to stop trying to do so much. Right. That sometimes in my nothingness, right. I'm even giving more to my children That's and right. being more for them. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was struggling with, I was failing every day because I was trying to do too much, but yep. God says he will do it for me. I just need to be still and let right. him do it. Now, why were you trying to do too much? Because I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've all been there. Like we look at what we were like before we were moms right. and we want to do it all. Correct. But I, 
I feel like it's a worldly thing. Um, mm -hmm. We have a world who tells us that I should be able to hold down a job. I should yes. be able to be a mom. Mm -hmm. I should be running three ministries at mm -hmm. my church. Yes. And my husband should like me because I am the <laughs> best thing that ever happened to him. Exactly. Right. And if you're not doing all of that, then somehow you're a failure. Yes. Yeah. That's for not, me. That's not the truth. Though. That's The process for me has been about learning that success is not you cannot you can't use a worldly measure for su right. success. Right. Um, I can I have had to learn through what looks like failure in the eyes of the world. Mm -hmm. um, right. I was successful to God because Amen. I obeyed Him. Yes. Yes. If that's I believed yes. Him and obeyed Him, yes. um, so I think that's part of our problem is that when you come from, you you have to come out of the world. Correct. Right. Um, and part of that is relearning all of these things. God has a new system Amen. and a new totally new way to right. teach us. He's going to show us a new way, Amen. and uh, His measure is completely different. And not um, being afraid goodness. to trust Him with what He puts in your lap, Amen. what right. He gives you to do. Right. I was sitting with. Uh, a group of moms who are moms of infants and preschoolers and they were all sharing how <laughs> at that season in life they felt like there's so much sacrifice required yes, of them absolutely. and they were feeling like they had laid their successful identities down were, to right. be a cook, a maid, a taxi driver mm -hmm. that doesn't seem as rewarding by the world standards. Right. Or as you know, some of them had very successful yeah. careers before becoming right. moms right. and they right. had to lay that aside and that right. identity. That's so hard. And it is so hard. And then also in that same conversation, a couple of the moms said, I really. I feel like my relationship with God is a failure mm -hmm. because I'm not in the Word yeah. as often anymore. Yeah. I'm not spending time praying right. as much because my house is so Don't full of right. noise. And when you're a perfectionist. <laughs> yes. Exactly. I it's read a whole new level. <laughs> this scripture that really spoke to that is Romans 12, 1. It talks about being a living sacrifice, offering your body as a living sacrifice. And that when we are moms, we are offering our bodies Amen. as a living sacrifice to to raise up these children yes. who God right. has entrusted to our care. No matter and what we do, we're a living sacrifice. If we're offering that to God right. and that it is holy and pleasing, it is a spiritual right. act of worship. Yes. So we are worshiping God, which can just help take that guilt off of right. oh, that we're not so spending as much time right. in Bible study. Amen. And so moms, we just want you to know that what you do day in and day out matters, yes. that God sees all the it little things that you do. And when you do mm -hmm. it to His glory, you are living a life of worship that is holy and pleasing to God. So keep up the great work. We're yes, so proud yes. of how you're investing in your kids' lives. And we will see you next time on Mom Talk. But for now, we're going to send you over to Sydney for some good news.